Hey guys, Snuggies at 1331 here. Bringing you round seven. Oh man, I, I actually want a Marin Beer team to last a little longer than they did. It's it's fun, funny because I remember one time I got Garatina with uh, with uh, G Rugal and they get, they lost to the likes of Lucky Globber and May from Guilty Gear. I was impressed by that one. That that was I documented that one a long time. That was back in like I think like the summer or something. At any rate, the new de the new the new two on two battle is as follows. Okay, never mind. It's Hyper Gogeta again. This is not a continuable duo. <laughs> Dalsum and um, Dalsum and Hyper Hyper Gogeta. Against freaking lightning and uh, I already forget who the other guy is. And um, uh, YouTube Robotic. Okay, well this round seven's g g g g g getting up to a real nice start. Now I'll literally just keep on going this until I have a continual hero. That's basically how I do these. No, no, because no, now normally in my documented fights, I usually just end the round right then and there. But, but for the for, for my videos, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, 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 I, I, I will not do that for my videos. Because then the videos would just be, the videos would just be way too freaking short. So, so, so for the videos, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep on doing it until I can find a good duo. Like, like what, what attack is that? Like, you literally like, it's like he's like roaring at him or something like that. Or he like. Like opens his mouth and then just like I mean what what is it like supposed to be a beam that comes out like I I, I, I don't I don't get it. Oh I all over with Dallas and we just like you're on fire. Yeah you're on fire. That's why I say that. Uh okay the the top the top was supposed to like. Him, like like the Gogeta would separate back into Goku and Vegeta, and then he would say that was pretty fun. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. You fight well, but within the battle yourself, you fight poorly. Huh? Interesting. At any rate, continuing again. Oh, nice one, Kikio or Metal Kikio. Nice Nakaruru. <gasps> oh my God, Haster with Haster against Shadow Kamek. What? All right, what's going on with Mujin today? Okay, this is all right. Okay, this is this is not right. All right, this is just. It's probably gonna be Metal Kikyo too, so which will be like a okay. This is this is an ass raping duo waiting. Even if it was Kikyo and Haster, like anything with Haster is just screams like this match will be over in like two minutes. This will be almost as quick as that match I had with um, Hatsune Miku and, and the old and the original Gigas, where it literally lasted a full minute. Legit, that was all it, the match was. And faster than you can say, holy crap, Haster, Haster will kill them in about. Seconds. Okay, why the heck are they actually? Oh, I forgot. I guess it's freaking Shadow Kamek. Whoa, could they actually win? Could Shadow Kamek and Nakaru actually win? You know what's crazy? He could. Shadow Kamek could win. Because the way Shadow Kamek works is very weird. Well, because Shadow Kamek, if you if you can destroy all of his assists, then it, then his, his then his his health his health will start to go down. Meaning you can kill him. But but as long as his assists are, st are still around, yeah, yeah, see, he won. As long as his assists are still around, then um, he, he's invincible. And he, yeah, he's pretty much invincible. <laughs> I forgot about that. Haster is Omega Tiger Woods' his taunts. Like, I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow Kamek screwed now because once it, once his assists are gone, once they don't come back. So meaning meaning his invincibility is completely toast in the second round. Uh, this is Haster's version of the Statue of Liberty attack that that Rare Akuma has. Right, Haster is pretty much like a powerful joke character because. Yeah, Shadow Kamek was- oh, it's funny, because at the end of the last battle, Shadow Kamek was shrinking. Which is pretty funny that, sh that, sh that Shadow Kamek- did. yeah, that, that's all Haster's fault right there. Oh my god! I got two Omega Tiger Woods' taunts in a row! I have never seen that with Haster. That- uh, that is actually pretty funny. Yeah, now, Kikio is a good character that was made by Rice Pigeon, who unfortunately no longer makes characters anymore. Eh, too bad. 
Yeah, yeah, I love. I mean, one of one of my favorite characters by him, which I really wanted to get, was the one called Cuckoo's Revenge. But unfortunately, I can't find that one anymore. Ooh, nice one. I think that that's my newest Zangief. He's pretty good. Maki and Zangief against Android 17, and I already forget the other guy. I feel so stupid. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I'm actually I'm rooting for Zangief and Maki. Oh yeah, and Sakuya. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, this is this is the this is the kind of the um, toned down version of Sakuya. Maki, Maki's pretty good, and so and so this version of Zangief I have is really good too. Found you. Let the battle begin. Good. Come on, Zangief. Although Android, I mean Android 17 and Sakuya, like it would would be continuable too. I say I because I, this version of Android 17 I have is actually pretty damn good. Oh yeah, oh, this is a rock and roll remix of Iceman stage from Mega Man 1. Wow, jeez, boy, Android 17 is doing really good. Kinda... Unfortunately, I was kinda hoping Maki and Zangief would be better. I mean, I mean, granted, Android 17 is really good, but, but still, I don't... Oh, wow. Come on, Maki. Alright, okay, alright, now all of a sudden, Sakuya kicks in the afterburner. Damn. Eh, yeah, they, 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 they got a hand in it, and they did good, though. Yeah, the, the, car, the card shuffling taunt. Which is funny, because this is a different version of Sakuya. Why the... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that, that's, um, yeah, that's, that, that, that's, um, uh, that's Shigen and I, one of, um, uh, Sakuya's assistants. Ooh, ultimate grab by Zengi. Ooh, drill to the ground, and then some. Come on, Maki. You, 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 once Maki, oh, there she goes. Once she uses one of her specials, then, then they're done. They, they, yeah, they're freaking done, though. Got him. Ah, uh, they did pretty damn good in that fight. Team Maki wins. Maki and Zengi. Unfortunately, I just don't think these two are going to be near... It, 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 well, I think whether Android 17 or Sakuya wins, or Maki or Zengi wins, these are... They're, they're just not going to last that long. No, I just have a feeling they're going to get terrible luck. They're going to get... It, it's going to be... It's gonna, they're going to pull off a May. It's going to be like a... Like, no, not May Giratina. I'm uh, Marum Giratina. Oh, nice one. There's, uh, nice, there's, there's Ryzen and Abba, which is another assist to Abba Sakuya. Ultimate grab that failed miserably. He's grabbing nothing and like it. Beautiful kicking by Maki. Unfortunately, Zanki just got the ever loving crap combo out of him. Good news, though. Oh, yeah. Good news, everyone. Android 17 is dead. And Sakuya is too. Nice, nice job, Maki and Zangi. Wait, 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 wait to make a great comeback on rounds two and three, man. Uh, what happened? Uh, Zangi isn't coming down for breakfast. I just have a distinct feeling that that is not going to happen. Um, okay, groovy. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. You know, being weak and all. Oh wow! What a, what a what a stab in the face at Android 17 is. He, he actually ain't that weak. At any rate, so also 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 Ma Maki, my brand new Zangief, it is then. Which Maki Maki's around here, I think. There she is. And Zangief should be like right over here, I think. There he is. Oh, he's like right above the random selected. Oh god, kill Bill Riser and Killer Whale. That is a mean duo. Surprisingly enough. Oh, the thing about these two, these two are, these two just barely don't make the cut. And they, no, that's I, my, my bad. They, these two just barely make the cut of being a continuable duo. Just the Bill Riser is very cheap because he can use his Contra gun so much, and he's tiny as hell. But I mean, surprisingly enough, I mean, I, I'd almost liken this duo to like the Neo Sonic and Mosquitoes, only not quite as bad as Neo Sonic and Mosquitoes. That that duo was terrible. Oh, Chaos Zangi now. Enter Chaos mode. Bam. 
damn. See, like, didn't I tell you, like, I, I told you Maki and Zangief were gonna get, like, the major short end, we were gonna get the, like, short end of that stick. Like, I, I knew it, like, I, I knew it was gonna happen. Tony, like, Mu like, Mujin tends to be cruel to, like, the, like, the average duos. Like, the, like, the, like Mu Mujin plays a little bit of favoritism for, like, the really, really good duos. At least that's the way I've been noticing, just the way it, I've been using it. Like, whenever I do random battles, it usually... What the hell happened to Zangief? Like, it, like it, it tends to favor the really good duos. Very, very rarely it favors the average duos. Because I'm kind of curious what kind of duos these two can take out, so that, that's actually, that's the one reason I'm looking forward to Bill Riser and Killer Whale. Other than that, though, I'm not really, I'm not really terribly crazy about this duo, but I'm kind of, kind of, because I'm kind of curious what kind of duos they, they can beat, so that's actually, that's, that's the one positive I can find in there, is that it's, they're, 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 get, they're gonna last a while, but I'm, I'm hoping they don't last too, too long. Actually, yeah, Killer Whale should be, like, right near here, I think. Uh... Or, wait, or, wow, really, why do I always, oh, what if, what if it, what if it's, like, whale, no, it, wow, okay, I thought, I thought killer whale was king, there he is, oh, yeah, I forgot, he's right in between Kusanagi and Kai, and he's also right above Franco, and right below Vanessa, oh, nice one, Bison, haven't seen him in a little bit, Oh, wow, okay, I got Android 17, now I got Android 18. Android 18 and Bison, they should probably be not a threat at all to these two. Yeah, Bill Riser's guns will literally kill, will destroy the ever-loving crap out of Bison, because he cannot block the, all the, he can't block any of those attacks, so Bison's screwed. Which, speaking of which, I am due for Air Omega Tiger Woods 2008. Which, I, I'd really like to see if Omega Tiger Woods can beat those two, because I would love to see Tiger Woods. Uh, I was gonna, ooh, was I, oh, oh, wow, I'm Bill Riser got hit. Of course, and, and of course, Bill Riser can change, because he has access to every single Contra gun that, that you can find in the original Contra. Yeah, and he and he can interchangeably use them too. So, so, so in other words, I mean, Bill Riser. I mean, he you you can almost call him like a, you can almost call him a joke character in a way. I mean, like he, he's mean. Look at I mean, just look at how small he is. I mean, he's he's a joke character. He's powerful. He, he's like he's like Haster. He's like he's like a powerful joke character. Actually, even decent this time. If you can destroy Bill Riser, you might have a freaking shot at this. I don't think it's gonna happen. No, oh, never mind. Bison's down. Yep, that ain't gonna happen. Wow, that's real smart, Drake. He's just hopping into the shots. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, just hop, just hop into those gunshots. The <laughs> the 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 music that comes that, that you, you hear that whenever you complete a level in the game. So one reason why I got Bill Rise is because I freaking love Contra. Oh, I think that's Silver Surfer. <gasps> the cheap Yumu with Silver Surfer. Nice job. Yes. Oh. Wow. I was thinking, which. Oh my God. I don't even know if I even want to continue the cheap Toku characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you and Silver Surfer. My chances are they'll probably win the first round, but I don't think they're gonna win overall. I'll be freaking shocked as all hell if they, they win overall. Ult Ultra attack by Silver Surfer. Bill Riser's almost dead. Bill Riser is dead. Yumu is free and top.
You know what? I've actually been getting lucky in that. Like, the only duo that, that I've seen so far that has lasted a really long time that I kind of was hesitant on watching was Diablo and Sora. So, you know what? I think I think I actually am gonna continue them. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna massively regret this, but I think I'm gonna continue them. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna massively regret this, but you know what? But uh, I'm 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 just I'm kind of in that mood where I just like I literally want to view every single battle that that that, that I I mean because. That's the thing about Yumu is that Yumu just barely doesn't make the cut of being being or no barely does make the cut of being being continuable. Actually, you know what? No, I, you know what? For my documents, Yumu is continuable, but I don't know, man. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna test my luck today. You know what? Yeah, I will. I, I will test my luck today. And oh my god, you moved down. And Silver Surfer is glitched out. Wow. Restart. down again. That's mean. Freaking Thorai just, 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 just backs him against the long killer who just eats him to finish it off. Wow. I mean, the thing, I mean, the thing about the Yumu fights is that they're, they're interesting in that most of the time they go to three rounds, so that, that's the one that's the one reason that's worth, that makes it worth keeping them. Of course, Killer Will can't block, so all those projectiles do, do, do a crap load of damage to him. Oh god, the revival, the revival, the revival craze has begun. Kill! Oh, we're not waiting now? Dog killer, I just freaking die already. You see, like the thing with Yumu, she revives her health. Unlike Kanako, she revives her health a freaking full, which makes her grossly unfair. But I mean, the shortest I've seen is that one time I actually had you, um, you Yuko. No, I, no, I, I think it was like Yumu with someone else, and they only lasted four rounds. Because I mean, that that's the way to beat Yumu is that it, luck, luck must not be on their side. It, it, that's that's just the thing. Luck must not be on their side. I, I'm, I'm dead serious on that one. Yep, there she is. The cheap, cheap Yumu. And then Silver Surfer somewhere down here, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot, I forgot it's Surfer. I forgot, yeah, that Silver Surfer's death file is called Surfer. Yep, there he is. Please be Chuck Norris. Oh wow, okay, Zangief's back in again. Oh wow, Fakir and Zangief. No, wow, okay, normally a good duo, but they're, they're gonna be nothing against these two. It'll probably go into three rounds, though. Of course, since Yuma's first, they have, they have freaking nine bars of special. Which all the Toe characters have, have that. Bam. 
Uh, hello? What's going on here? Oh, oh, Civil Server has been glitched out again. What the hell, man? Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Oh, yeah, this version of Civil Server is a little on the glitchy side. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I mean, I mean, believe me, if I see another cheap Tohu character, I'll mean, like, I mean, if it's been, like, 15 rounds and then I see another Tohu character, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it there. Because, I mean, generally the thing with the Tohu character is that, like, roughly they'll usually win, but it could be anywhere from, like, 15 to 40 rounds is their average, and then very, 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 very rarely it'll, it'll be below that number, but usually you're gonna look at between 15 to 40 rounds of, of the cheap Tohu characters. That, that's that's just the way it is. Like they usually, they generally always win like at least twenty rounds. Again, I mean, unless luck is not on their side, which I'm really hoping it's not. Oh wow, the other Silver Surfer and Master Hand. Wow, okay. That is too funny. It's the other Silver Surfer. Yep, good old Yumu. Oh god, how freaking cheap she is. I mean, if the revival attacks didn't, if the revival techniques didn't like occur like as often as they did, then I would be perfectly okay. Like if, if it weren't kind of like Kanako's, then I would be perfectly fine with that. I mean, I may, I mainly only, I mainly the reason I got these Toe characters really was was, ma was mainly to beat up on the really tough Marvel Capcom characters like, like Storm, Magneto, and Bison, and Doctor Doom. Oh yeah, and also Gil. I also forgot about Gil. Oh my god. And you know, and, and just and just other tough characters that I don't really like or or, or, or that I don't that I don't care for. Well, that's actually dead because he, he he can't block any of those freaking projectiles. I love the song playing in the background. This is this is my own song. It's called High Voltage by Linkin Park off the uh, uh, off the album called uh, Reanimation in 2001. Ah, man. This is this is pretty much like like the only like close. This is like the closest thing to rap that I like. Other than that, though, I'm not really a big fan of of it. Uh, I just, oh my god, Master Hat is down. It's down. Team, you quit. All right. I mean, I mean, I mean, at least they're exciting because I mean, at least the other side tries. I mean, that's the one thing I will give these battles with with you credit or the other Cheeto characters that the other the, the other sides make it look interesting. So that's like the one redeeming factor of the Toho characters. They they make the battles exciting, especially if they're facing against good characters to begin with. Like like you like what like, like the really tough Krakom like and like like Mar like yeah like yeah Stormy Nido and Bison Dark Doom and um uh, Gil. Uh, like what hap what happened to you, Master Hand? Oh man. I mean, it's funny because I the reason I picked this song is because because th this is supposed to be like DJ stage from Street DJ from Street Fighter. It's supposed to be his stage, and this song just fits his his image perfectly. I think. Of course, Team U wins. Why wouldn't it? That was unless Chuck Norris came 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 in their front door. Omega Rugal. Ah, Eddie and Omega Rugal. Not again. Not a bad duo normally, but um, yeah, not this time. Sorry. Look, if I hate to be the bearer of, uh, of bad news, first the professional future is a bad news, everyone. Eddie and Omega Rugal will not be able to win this battle. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually gonna split this into another part. I think I'm thinking after this fight, I think I'll split this into another part. Just to kind of shorten the videos. 
because it's even my general strategy with videos is, 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 to, is to try to make them as short as I can, so I usually split them up into a lot of parts. Because, of course, my freaking camera, which has a great microphone, which is the best part about the camera, unfortunately, it, 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 especially if there's a lot of stuff going on the screen and stuff like that, the, the, the video camera tends to bog down, like, the audio gets screwed up, it's, it's pretty bad. Sad saying that the best part about it is the freaking microphone. Wow, you was almost dead. You is dead. Wow, nice job you do. Wow, wow, wait a minute, wait to make this one interesting. Team Eddie wins. One. Location: Teen Titans Tower, San Francisco, DC. Nice burst die by you. Sure, sure, he's down. Oh, she's down. Yep, Silver Surfer is down. Uh, Eddie? Like, like, where are you going? And, uh, Eddie is from Guilty Gear, which, which just explains the burst meter there, because the, that, that, that's Omega Ruble there, but the, of course the burst thing is blocking um, uh, the rest of Omega plus Ruble. So this is, this is Omega, Omega, and then like a quarter of an A. Yeah, you was yeah, you was pissed now. Oh my god, I just realized it, like they, they got the cheese victory. I don't think the cheese victory means you won like you got a victory but you shouldn't have. I think I think that that's what that symbol means. Like see this is what makes you move them cheap, because they just keep on reviving themselves. Like they like well because you they literally will not let you. Like she will not let you get her health down below a certain point unless you do a single attack that can do a lot of damage. That's the only way you can kill them when they're like this. You have to use just one, one really strong attack, like a giant beam or something like that, that will kill them. It's the only way that, that that's the only way it'll, it'll kill them for sure. Like any 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 multi-head attack will will completely will completely fall flat fall flat on its ass. Wow, boy, they were boy they they were really pushing her to a limit because they eventually get to a limit which you'll which 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 you you would you will have seen. In the in in, in uh, one of my random battles, where it was um, uh, Yuyuko and Lucario against Pachuli and um, uh, oh jeez, oh yeah, Pachuli and Omega Zero, where they get to a point where literally they're launching projectiles everywhere, but at the same time they also can't block. So if you can launch a projectile attack at yourself, you can you can train their health really really quickly. That that's the other way to beat him, although. The only the only scenario you would ever see that is is, is in an AI only battle. You, it's so unrealistic for a human player to freaking battle these guys. It, it's ridiculous. It just it's just super. It's just completely completely ridiculous for a human player to face these guys. Well, that's probably the closest battle I've seen because I mean Yumu hasn't been pushed that far yet. So I give Eddie and Omega Rule credit. All right then. Hopefully this is a sign that Mujin's starting to get pissed already. Wow, Liu Kang and Vegeta. Hmm. I know I said I'd stop after this battle, but I mean, I, I don't know, I kind of forgot already, so I'll stop after this one, and then I'll resume. I love this music playing. This, this, this comes from Sonic 3D Blast. This is from uh, Diamond Dust Act 1. Which this is this is I already have a stage like this. This is a, this is the this is Iceman stage for Mega Man One only in the daytime, whereas the nighttime one actually came with its own music, which was the rock and roll remix of Iceman stage. I mean, I will give Yumu credit. I mean, Yumu is a very very tough fighter, which is the reason why I like her. I dislike her because of the revival stuff. Which, the, the, the sole purpose of the revival is so that they can tackle on really, 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 like, the cheapest of the cheap next to, like, Chuck Norris. That's, like, the one reason that, 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 that I, 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 I keep these Tohu characters, to take on the, like, the cheapy, like, the cheapest of the cheap. Other than that, though, other than that, though, I mean, they're almost, they're just almost, they're just under the scope of being too cheap, in, for, for my taste. Because those attacks that come from it, like Giakia has those like similar attacks. 
or Giakia stands in which her, her real name I think is Giant Akia Nightmare, but I, ju I just kept her name as Giakia. Damn, they lost. I figured that. Damn. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this part. Um, I'll, I'll resume this shortly.